Welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to the Art of Programming using Scala. We continue looking at doing graphics, and in this particular video I want to talk about repainting a panel. And we'll motivate that by making it so that our GUI has the a button that does something. So we have a button here, it says do something, but currently it doesn't do anything. And what I'd like to do is actually fairly simple. I would like to make it so that every time that I click this button, the color of this rectangle here changes to something else. Uh, and we could make it so it cycles through, maybe red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. Uh, that's a, a reasonable approach to doing this. And so the question is, well, how do I do that? So right now, it is hard-coded in here that the paint is always red. And so I want this to be something that I can change, and I want it so that down here, inside of these curly braces, we change it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up in here a var called rectangle colors. Uh, actually, let's do rectangle colors. And I want this to be an array of all the different colors that I want to allow. So color.red, color.blue, color.green. OK. And, and actually, let's make that a vowel. And the var is going to be an int. It's going to be an index into this array. So I'm going to start off at 0, which would use red. And then when they click it once, I want this to go up to 1, in which case they get blue, and then 2, so they get green. And if they click it again, it should jump back to red. <clears throat> so that means that I'm going to change this code here. So the paint is now set to rectangle colors sub current color. And just to make sure that that's all happy, let's go ahead and let's run this. And sure enough, that winds up changing absolutely nothing because zero is the red. Uh, but we've now put in place the ability to possibly change the colors. So let's go down to our button here. And what I want to have happen is current color so I could just say current color plus equals one, and I could say if current color is too big. I tend to lean towards the approach of using modulo for this type of thing. So I'm going to say that current color equals current color plus one modulo rectangle colors dot length. So instead of having an if statement where I always add one and then I check if it's too big and I wrap it around. Here, I'm using a modulo so that it turns out this, this will do very much the, the same thing, um, especially for, for always incrementing by one. So I save that, I come over here, I run it. Um, rectangle colors, plural. And I click the button, and it didn't look like anything happened. Click it again, doesn't look like anything happened. But it turns out it did do something. Notice if I resize the window, all of a sudden this thing is green. Click it again, resize the window, and it's back to red. Click it again, <laughs> resize the window, and it's blue. Okay, so, so we're, the button is working. The button is changing the value. The problem is that when we click the button, it's not actually redrawing the panel. I have to, it's when I resize the window that it forces it to call repaint. So this, or that it forces it to call paint. This paint method that we wrote here gets called when the panel first gets displayed and then it gets called at certain other times whenever part of the panel needs to be re, uh, redisplayed. And so like when I drag the corner and I resize the thing, well it has to go through and it repaints. Um, in this case I want it to repaint on its own. Okay? I want to, in the code, force it to repaint, and it turns out to do that we simply say draw panel dot repaint. The panel has a method in it called repaint, and note that I am not calling the paint method. I can't, I, well, I, I could call the paint method, but then I'd have to pass it some graphics 2D object, and I don't have one of those. 
I call repaint and what that does is it schedules the panel to paint and it turns out it might not paint immediately there might be other things going on but at the next convenience of the uh, of the windowing system it will call paint and it will pass it the graphics 2d object that represents drawing to the screen and so so that's what we're we're doing here is asking it to schedule a repaint for the next time that it can and that repaint will change what's on the screen and so now when I do this you can see I cycle through all of my colors we're going to need to use this repaint uh, reasonably frequently inside of, of the GUIs uh, we're going to have anything that's dynamic where we want to change the stuff that's being drawn we need to make it so that we force a repaint every time that something in the drawing has changed so this is something that will come up a fair bit uh, and that's it for this video we'll come back next time and we will look at our next setting on the uh, graphics 2d objects